it's going to be a rare alignment of five planets or and our moon um, it's going to be a spectacular night show here uh, this is a video that's done by an astronomer um, that's a, a, a planet watcher and that's made with a telescope but on October 15th up until the 17th so happening now you can see the waxing moon and you can see how it's going through this alignment here and it's aligned on this edge and you can see the other stars that are lined up with it here hopefully in the video the far left red dot is Mars the far right dot over there is Jupiter let's see if I can get it in a little smaller for you here You can see this line up. No, oh, sorry, there's a glare on there, but there's a line up here with Antares, and it's still not showing Jupiter over there. You can see the edge of it now on the far right hand side. And you can see Pluto that's going to be there in the center of it here. And you know, people back in the day when people used to believe the stars were gods this would have been a strange alignment who knows what people would have believed was going on now especially knowing that right at this time would be the smaller Leonid meteor shower going on and of course that was the reason for the Halloween season and the the Day of the Dead um, then of course we have the later meteor shower that is much more abrupt the torrid meteor storm that comes through and it's believed that that is behind the idea of witches brooms and that is behind the idea of the reason we have the day of the dead and halloween that quite often when we run through this we'll actually um, encounter larger pieces of comets that cause incredible amount of problems uh, there's a lot of dark age paintings that show you a few times things like this happening cities getting ruined and all kinds of stuff and it seems to correlate with that I'd like to mention here when they show you the picture here that the uh, the planet here Jupiter that got hit by Shoemaker Levy Comet still has the marks on it from those collisions that you see kind of neat that they're still showing up kind of odd and you think the storms would just swirl and they disappear in a short amount of time well here two days from now or hopefully you've seen this at the right time uh, the alignment will roll over from being left to right to being a hash mark this way and if you're looking towards the western sky after sunset you'll be able to see them lined up through like this from Mars, the Moon, on down through Jupiter, and Venus will be showing itself right here. And Venus, of course, does its little peekaboo that you have there, and you'll be able to see Mercury and Venus at the lowest point here near Scorpio. And of course, Scorpio has bad connotations to it in a lot of the uh, biblical and zodiac things too. So this alignment, of course, uh, you could probably have people all around the world who are into horoscopes and things going crazy over this idea and this alignment and what it means to you because you were born on a certain date yet um believe it or not people back in ancient times used to go off of this quite a bit and who knows this might have caused a war or unity from people and all kinds of things uh just from a planetary alignment that would show up like this right here something is simple and probably not even noticed in a modern day people don't really look up anymore but uh, something like this could actually have caused something incredible back in the day just thought I'd throw this at you because it's uh, you know happening right now here leading into the uh, holidays so uh, enjoy <laughs>